Right, so right now I am 3D printing a part on my CR-10S over USB to my laptop. And as soon as this print is done, I'll take it off and I'll show you some of the problems I had trying to print over USB. And I'll show you how to fix them. This is the part I just printed and it worked perfectly. So I'm going to show you how I got to print this over USB. And in case your computer doesn't recognize your printer, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So if your printer isn't recognized by your computer, first of all, uh, there is just search up CR10S drivers and I believe the first link that pops up should work. That's how I got my drivers and then my computer recognized it. But then I had a problem when I went into Kira to go into the monitor section, which is how you see if your printer is recognized by it. I found that it wasn't. And then what I did was I I went in I hit this button and then you go into prepare you go into move axis and then you can move whatever axis I'll just go to X and then you can just move it around and then that, when I did that, that woke up the USB connection and it started working. And then you would just go into your prepare section and then you would click print via USB. And then it should work. Um, also, if you need your prints to stick, the glue stick works really well. You just put some on there, and then it should stick. Alright, so I'm here in the future a little bit. I'll show you something else I printed over USB. This was a one piece print um, fidget spinner. So this was all printed in one piece, and after a little bit of lubricant, it spins super well. So yeah, printing over USB works really well, and I hope this video solved any problems you had with printing over USB using your CR10 or CR10S or if it helped with any other printers let me know